Good morning, this is Joe. My name is Miles, Mr. Ross, and today I am here in the R&D test chamber, dropping bombs on these noobs. Ha! You can't hit me. You can't hit me, and if you did, I have a strong enough shield to last for about 2,000 years, so you know. That's, that's a thing. Anyway, today I am not here to blow up people with bombs in this cool-looking World War II style bomber. I am instead here to shut up my bird. Icer! Please. I am going to be making my first ever aerial carrier. Now I have been wanting to make an aerial carrier for a long time, and as you can probably tell, I started off with basic, you know, the non-aerial carrier, the one with, uh, the, with wheels, yeah, the Roken Shield, just now on the Steam Workshop if you, if you want to go subscribe to it, which, which you should, because it's cool. Now most of the builds I've started on this channel have been half-like built. I barely ever started any builds that aren't half-built. So I'm going to start off by doing this one, which is going to be straight up from the beginning all recorded. Alrighty, time to do things. So, how I plan on making this carrier is it's going to be a spaceship carrier. It's not going to- I sir, Jesus. He keeps- Back to the cage with you. You cannot shut up. You cannot shut up. He is incredibly annoying. How in the world is this thing going to start? Well, I was thinking about it, and this thing is going to have to have- it's gonna have an opening hangar bay at the very front of it, almost like a Venator. When it come out, it's gonna have a bunch of cannons along the sides, the name up and down. Hopefully a couple of multi-tech turrets, because I like those multi-tech turrets, they are very cool turrets. And a couple of these new Venator, these Better Future guns, that would be really cool. I think I'm gonna build it mainly out of Better Future, just for the fact that, you know, Better Future has some pretty darn big parts, like this is the medium one. Look at this! Jesus Christ! This is about as big as, as my as my mom. Did I really just roast myself? I I did. Dear Lord, you can make some things with this. I could be making a massive egg. That's my whole purpose in life. It's making eggs. I like eggs. Eggs and ham. Green eggs and ham. You could build some cool stuff with this. Wow. Anyways, back on to serious stuff. The better future, they have some of the biggest blocks in the game that aren't EXP, so that way everyone can use them. They have these massive 3x4 blocks right here. You, you see those? Yeah, th those are gonna be nice for doing stuff in the sky, especially for doing stuff in the sky. In the sky. So this gap right here is gonna be temporary. I'm gonna remove it once I'm gonna later on the build. Before 8 p.m. at the moment, or on that telling machine, I'm going to be using them after I can get the correct orientation. What incarnation is this? There we go. Probably should yeah, if I pressed F, it would have gotten in too close. Okay. So the front of it is going to have a pretty darn big, uh, sloped out edge. Uh, the hangar is going to be about eight deep, so I'm going to have to make this a bit taller. Yeah. Probably three blocks, three of these blocks tall. And that is now nine blocks tall. That is approximately going to be the front of the ship. Jesus Christ, I didn't realize how big this is going to be. It's so this front hangar section. See, it ain't just gonna be no hangar. Just like in the Venator from Star Wars, it's gonna also be a little bay for, you know, storing uh, tanks and such inside of it. And a phone rings. Can I just do a recording uninterrupted for a couple of seconds? This, this, this once. Okay, how do I, I need to round this off now? So this is front facing. Okay, time to make a rounded edge. Let's get these five blockers out. Uh, why do I not use F? Why do I keep pressing the G? I've made this mistake too many times now. Get out of my sight, you. Okay. Now I need to do something to do up here. And that covers most of the, the, the emptiness of my heart. However, it does not sadly cover all of this. Which is sad. So, what should I do now? Well, I know what I shall do now. Is I shall do what I have always done. Is place more of these five blocks. In editing, occasionally I look back at my footage and I think to myself, what in the world, Mindless? What were you thinking? Do you think this is ever gonna get into this video? No, out with you, you and your trashy commentary. I just need to remember for myself in the future that if I don't give commentary, then I get bored and stop doing this. The only reason why I do commentary is because I'm bored, and so I do commentary. Is that too much to ask, future mindless Mr. Awesome? You're not being too awesome, mindless Mr. Awesome. Future me. Spoiling past me. How dare you say that? That is not acceptable to say. How could you ever possibly sleep at night after saying that? 
Another thing that I do look back at myself and tell myself, why do I stutter so much? Why do I keep saying one thing and then stopping and then continuing it on in a couple of seconds? Well, that is simply because I actually do put a little bit of focus into placing blocks. I mean, does it, it takes a small little bit of brain power, and my brain does not have enough RAM to do all of these tasks at once. So I must do things and stuff. See, that's what I'm talking about. Right there. Can't even do a thing. If only there was one of these, but it was in first, so I could do like this right here. But they sadly do not exist, which is quite... An existential crisis. Ha! Ha ha ha! You see what I did there? What the heck was I doing here? What was happening in Mindless's mind a couple of seconds ago, huh? This is not proper doings. I managed to do the front. Don't look too bad. It looks moderately bad. But you know what? In the end, badness is only good. This is the Servaf. S R V A F. Short ranged voidal uh, assault fighter, I think. It is a plane, a little fighter plane that uses anti-gravity to fly. It actually has quite a large battery life in here. This is actually one of my most well-batteried planes for its size. And it uses anti-gravity to make it fly, which is very cool. But anyways, I am going to have four dedicating docking ports on the outside of this thing, which has fallen fat, flat on its face. They're going to dock, and they're going to be able to dock on the outside, so they don't take up room in the hangar for other things. But yes, I am going to mount some of those to the exterior of the hull for rapid interception and shooting things, which is cool, I suppose. Boom! Here we go. That's, this is the front section done. So now... Inside of here, we make the hangar, the hangar. I just need to make a big old empty space in here. So how big do I want this space to be? Well, preferably I wanted it a little bit wider, but that ain't happening. So yeah, it's gonna be something like this. Now I want it to be at least uh, 20 blocks, you know? That seems like a good, good solid number. So let's make a floor out of Hawkeye. Big black, I could have said something else there, floor. Let's just try letting our my servaf in it. See if that works. Now this ain't too big of a thing. It's already taken up a lot of this thing's space. Ah, oh, jeez. And then think about how big this is gonna have to be. This is more along the lines of what I'm thinking about having in here. Stuff like this. Of course, this would be uh, two blocks lower once this turret is deployed which would still not be anywhere near enough to fit in this hangar. Darn it! Shoot! It's got to be a tall hangar. Uh, yeah, this is not gonna work as is. I'm gonna need to extend this out and make it just a tad bit bigger. Even though this is quite enormous, it is not as enormous as I plan on it being. I also just realized that this hangar is only six blocks tall. That's not acceptable. I'm gonna need to undo this. That's... <sighs> Come on. Goodbye. All of you hard work. Who needs hard work when you can just redo hard work? I feel I have successfully extended the, the thing. Now, there's the problem of this. It's sticking out. It's sticking out like a some thumb sore. Alright, yeah, I think I got that all figured out. Took long enough. Look at this nice, beautiful front of a thing. It looks like it's a it's a big tank. No, it doesn't. It looks like it's a big ship, just on its side. Yeah, it's a good width for a hangar, I'd, I'd think. You know, I also just realized, the only way you're going to see the floor is from being inside. And if you're inside, you don't really care, because you're inside a big, massive hangar ship, and you're like, oh, cool. Plus, I think I'm going to cover up the, the top of this anyways, with armor panels to make it so there's not a trillion attachment points lagging my game out. So now how this next part's gonna work, see, is I'm going to make it come up and then there's gonna be a little indentation here in the side where there's gonna be a bunch of guns aiming out. A bunch of battle cannons ready for battle, aiming out of the sides, which will shoot people and things that they want to shoot. Which will hopefully be the enemies, right? Before I do anything else, I must now armor panel this up.
I'm done. I finished. That took forever. So many blocks that I missed and placed underneath. Now you may be wondering, how in the world is this gonna be able to open up? Am I just gonna leave it ha like open? That's not a good idea, mindless. No, it's not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two massive multi-tech hangar doors, kind of just like the Venator has, that slide open or maybe fold open or whatever. But yeah, they're gonna do a thing. I just don't know what thing yet. So yeah, see now we got this thing right here. I just realized I made a big mistake. I'm using OBS. I've watched my videos too much. Alright, so I'm just editing my video now. And I just realized that I made a big mistake. I'm using OBS, that super- <laughs> Why do I remember these things? Five block. Five block. And I remember to use F and not E. There we go. Click. I use this five block. I can do things and such of these things. Let's pull out the minigun. And I used G again. I need to use F. There we go. Press space on that. Now look at how fast those things go. Those things go flying out way over there. At incredible velocities. Having a row of these on your thing will make it so that way you don't die. Guaranteed. There we go. Semi smooth transition. And then it'll be four all the way down until the end. Well, there will be a bajillion better future Gatling lasers in here. Because, um, yeah, bajillion Gatling lasers would be a lot of Gatling lasers. And who don't like Gatling lasers? Well, probably people who don't like Gatling lasers, I would suspect. <sighs> what else should I have? I think six, like a battery of six right here, a battery of six right here, some other type of gun right here, like, I don't know, maybe some battleship cannons. Might be able to slip in a small multi-tech turret, maybe, possibly, I don't think so. Uh, I might just use the HD ones. They're pretty powerful. Just for the heck of it, why not put those there, huh? Have some guns that'll fire immediately? Yeah. The speaker guns. Yayton. Because in Spanish, you pronounce two L's together as a yay. So, Yayton. I'm Yayton them, them, them planes out of my hangar. You, you get it? You understand where the name comes from now? Good. My goodness. Okay, so that's just six. Now imagine. 24. And that's what's gonna be the end product. Yeah, any plane that comes through here isn't gonna have a fun time. Oh goodness. Oh goodness! Ah! Get out of here! Goodness gracious, that is some powerful anti air defense. Especially when I put a combat computer on this, which is a mod I'm making that'll make the, all of the things have predictive targeting. So yeah, those things will be able to predict where you're gonna go based on your velocity and stuff like that and they will know where you're gonna be in X seconds so that is gonna be some incredibly powerful anti-air defense especially once there's six more batteries of those well it's easy enough to get in that's, that's good I guess and you just land yeah for the most part this looks good now sadly my time is running thin and so I must cut the recording and then I'll come back and do more later goodbye people. And I'm back, back in Terra Tech where I am in Leonice. It's actually a week later, surprisingly. You wouldn't think that I would take a week to record this, but that means that you just underestimate the power of laziness and not wanting to do things. Ice or shut. I'm giving you a second chance. Don't, don't waste your second chance. Ah, I miss the good old Leonize. And she's actually like super duper maneuverable in this new update too. Like, watch this. You ready? She can maneuver super duper quick. Wow. There, there, there we go. Okay, first we're safe. Oh uh, wait, where's my camera? No camera, what are you doing all the way back there? Oh my goodness, audio quality must have been horrible. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, time to do a thing. I need to make the, the light in a super, a super thing. Yes. Whoa. Um. That's new. That is definitely new. Okay. 
Hang on, just one second. I need to try this out versus a plane. Let's, let's turn that into an enemy. I said airplane. Oh, goodness. That is like a legit just beam of death. Okay, let's try that again. The ACI G3. Oh, goodness. Ah, it's a beam of death. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, that didn't last long. Oh, and now I'm dead. T. Okay. Goodness gracious. Okay, then. That was that was a lot more than I thought it would happen. Okay, Willis Hangar Bay is absolutely freaking massive. In fact, if I were to get another one of those ACIs, I probably could fit like 10 in here if I really wanted to. So I'm thinking this is probably good enough size for the Hangar Bay, at least on the top. But, oh wait, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I stopped recording before I built all this. So I'll just show you this. I, uh, I have a, a thing of, um... These, these things, these super laser things. I search. You get one more chance. One more chance. One more chance. Okay. So anyways, um, yeah, there is um, six of these at each corner, and then there's 12 on each side in total. And then there's these super lasers right here. So it goes And then, yeah, it has multiple guns and stuff. And then there are these things. This is quite loud, goodness gracious, that is very loud. I forget where I left off, so I don't know if I had this in here. But I ended up d using these things in the end, because I was I did not want to have two billion Hawkeye things in it. So I just put a bunch of those things down, and I put these things down, and uh, boom. Anyways, this needs to continue on into the rest of the ship now, because, you know, the rest of the ship is kind of important for battery storages and such as the such. Alright, well, now the question is a Rosen. What should I put down here? I want to put a big dome of dome stuff and down here. You know, these, these massive things, yeah, the large air rigs, I want to put a dome down here, but I don't know how to do it. That would look probably very, very weird. Yeah, that's cool. That actually kind of looks like the thing that's on the bottom of a Star Destroyer. Mine's Mr. Awesome. Editing mine is Mr. Awesome. Put one in there. No. Why are you always so mean to me? Something like that. Like this thing right here that we are seeing. Oh my dear lord, I just had the most awesome idea! Oh, this is happening. Multi-tech turret underneath. Medium air rig. One... stop. What? What is this? What is this? Stop! No! Why can't I get it on the middle block? There we go. No! Okay, now is there enough room for a multi-tech? There certainly is. Many rooms for multi-tech turrets there, my friend. This is new. <laughs> oh, that looks awesome. Oh, goodness, this update's so cool. So now they have a better future bubble projector, a solar panel, future batteries. They're doing all of the stuff. What else we got, huh? What else is new? Nothing. There was this. Gravity magnifier? Whoa, this looks like something out of a rocket ship. It honestly does. Look at that. That is like 100% pure space shuttle engine right stuff right there. Okay, well how am I gonna make this multi-tech turret now? I haven't even decided if I have going to, I just wanted to see if I could. Wait, wait, wait just one second. Wait a second. <gasps> no way! It's an actual proper cylinder for once. This is like the only perfect cylinder in the game other than the other anti-gravity engine, the small one. Look at how well that could be as a turret as shaft. Look. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be amazing! I ain't leaving this open like that. That's that's stupidness. I dare you think that I would leave such do such a crime. I am no and I'm not into criminal. This would actually be a very good spot for like batteries and such. It would also be a good place for multi-tectors. That's happening. I was thinking of land then. Hmm. All spaceships must be able to land at one point so that way they can pick up their clones. This is a big, thick thing of thickness. Yeah, this is a waste of space, but I, I don't care. If happened, I would remove these corner things. I would put white blocks in there for the purpose of making it look smooth. Huh? Yeah? That, that sounds like a smooth idea? Better future payload terminal. Jesus Trist. That looks amazing. Goodness gracious! 
Oh my goodness! Just one of these blocks is $837. <gasps> Dear, the sky anchor. How does it work? How might you work, great mighty one? Oh, so it goes pew, shoots a thing down to the ground, it hooks, it magnetically stabilizes, and then it stays there. I see, that's pretty dang cool. Now I need to try this on something. Hey there, Maverick, how you doing, buddy? Nice to see you again. I haven't opened up you in a while. You're probably incredibly outdated and may fly away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I called that. <laughs> Give me Sky Anchor. Let's plant, plunk that down right there. Let's go fly away. Oh, that's interesting. So this is not as much of a... It's not holding in her place. She's not holding in place. Oh, goodness gracious. I'll fix you later, buddy. We're gonna have to have one of these. <gasps> oh! You remember when I was reading this, like, 2,000 days ago? Yeah, you remember what it said down here? It's attached a sky anchor to the bottom, fill in the middle of hover pads and blah blah blah. Yeah, there you go. That's that's how it's meant for to be. Except I'm not gonna use it for that, because I'm stupid. I'm gonna put a multi-tech in dirt in it for some reason. Ah, Jesus. Goodness, Jesus Christ. Jesus, if you're out there, can you, like, stop me from doing the things I do? Nope. Okay. Understandable. I'm gonna stay. If I use the massive air rigs, which, which, which one's the maximum air rigs that I can rig up to this rig? Large air rig. Okay, that'll work. That's a lot of blocks. That's a lot, a lot, a lot of blocks. It's a lot of room for other things that could be going down there, which I'm, for some reason, not putting down there. So essentially what the Sky Anchor does is it's basically just like a massive balloon. If you have a tech and you want to make a balloon, well then you just use your friendly Sky Anchor and you anchor it to the ground and boom, now you can have a balloon. There we go. And this is going to happen at the bottom right there. It's just going to be that massive bulbous uh, globe thing. Dome. And I'm going to have a multi-tech turret bolt running around there with some battleship cannons on it. I'll be able to blow up almost anything and everything that doesn't come in front of it. Alright, that looks decent enough, I'd say. Time for a multi tech turret. Am I right? So this leaves me with more than plenty of space to make a multi tech turret. I also could even put like drive like the drive mechanics in here. I wouldn't have to put the drive mechanics on the outside, which would be good, because then they'd be protected. Now of course, I highly recommend that you don't do this. This is Grade A stupidity, making your drive shafts out of explosives <laughs> or your turret. I tried it on the test oil, and once you breach it, since they upped these things, they have quite a lot of uh, powerful thrust on them now. They were no longer weaklings that they once were, they are now quite powerful beings of mysterious origin. Oh, I sh mm. so I press X. Now, hi there. Would you be able to turn? No, of course you wouldn't. Why would you be able to turn? What, what am I, silly? Boom. Now you should be able to turn 100% awesomely. Nope, of course you can't. Why can't you? I don't know. Because someone doesn't want you to turn. That's exactly what the reason why. Look at how much thrust it's getting. It's just getting stopped by... Eh, it might be the batteries. Probably the batteries. I'm gonna have to replace them with fuel tanks. Will this work now? Build beam. Um, no, it won't. Why won't you work? You piece of cart. This will actually probably work. I, I would think it would work. Yeah, there we go. It's a fast boy. It's fa fast spinning. Oh, goodness gracious. That is quite fast. Okay, time to put some uh, super cannons on this. So you be gone. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. You're also gone, because I don't like you either. I don't like you, you stupid. You stupid person. And I don't like stupid people, because I am stupid. But we're gonna have to temporarily remove these things. I'm sorry for the minor inconvenience. On board flight 827. And I also have to put them on top to make sure that, uh... It won't bounce as much. If I put them on top, then they will not 
do the bouncing. So once again, I take this off to try out a new theory in the world of science. I hypothesize that these GSO hover horns will be able to effectively sit upon these two pedestals without interfering with the hitbox of these wheels. And if they do, then I will have to remove them. Very well, I guess we'll find out in a second. Oops. Okay, and this guy. Yeah, super speed. Whoa, that's a lot of speeds right there, guys. I don't know how many speeds I'm going at, but it's a lot of speeds. I'll, I'll tell you that. And it will hopefully be enough to uh, to make this guy uh, be able to be a turret one day. He'll grow up to be a, a happy turret. Okay, so I'm getting bored of recording. <laughs> Bit of a lame week point to end the video on, but I am bored and I honestly don't think this is going to be a very long video anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go eat a bagel and I'll see you next time, which I will be trapped inside one of these prison blocks because prisons, they're, they're pretty fun actually. Contrary to popular belief, prisons are one of the funnest places on earth. So you should definitely go break the law and um, steal a bagel so that we can eat it if you like the video. Goodbye.